love the idea of conservation and I want to document the experience. Welcome to Noe Island! Overall goal for this entire mission is just social responsibility. We want to wake everyone up. So wake up. If you don't wake up tomorrow, the eco cycle is going to be destroyed. So when the eco cycle is going to be destroyed, the last victim will be the human life. It's about conservation. It's about the community. It's about um, education. Um, people need to learn about what's going on in their world. Uh, we used to have so many of these animals roaming around in hundreds and thousands in the national parks. But of course the period of 1970 was a bit not too good for this country. There was a lot of lawlessness, civil war. The animals were being hunted at free will. Probably the, the most serious threat that we have are the humans. We think on average we're losing about 5,000 chimps a year to bushmeat and illegal trade. Extinction is forever. And I think people do not really sit down and think about the word extinction. It really is back to humans making that decision of whether they want their closest living relative to be living beside them or not. I think one way that projects such as this can benefit greatly is by having an increased number of eco-volunteers or um, international volunteers who want to come and help with a conservation and research project such as this. So when I get more people, that means I, have to, I can cover more sites at a particular depth. So I'm getting more data. So that's important. The more data you get at a particular site, the better. I believe in the, in the saying that act locally to think globally. If we all do some effort at a local level. That's the only way that we can really make a difference. And in that, one would be investing into Mother Earth, would be investing in the future, investing in future generations.